Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you all are doing well. I know some of you have wondered what has happened to us. We have just been busy, and last Friday and Saturday, we didn't have any yard sales at all. I guess because it was in the 90s, people getting kids ready for school, last-minute vacations, whatever the reason, there were no yard sales in our area. And today, there were no yard sales. There was just an estate sale that is run by an organization that we don't go to their sales because their things are not high. They're outrageous. So I'm not willing to pay those kind of prices. So we do have two yard sales so far for tomorrow. I'm hoping for more because tonight is actually supposed to get down in the 50s, believe it or not. And I am so ready. I have had to water myself to death this year, and the last two weeks especially. We'll get just a little bit of rain, but not really enough to water things deeply. So I've had to do a lot of watering, and I'm sure a lot of you understand that you've had to do the same thing. So today I am coming to you with friend mail, birthday gifts. It was my 76th birthday Wednesday. So I have some wonderful gifts from special people and a few things that John and I bought. So let's get started. We'll start right here. Y'all know how much I love to read these mysteries. And this is Death of a Neighborhood Witch by Laura Levine. And I've read several of her books and they're all really cute. And this is such a cute Halloween book. So this will stay out even after I've read it for Halloween because it's so cute. This is one of my gifts from Janet. And Janet knows how much I love whisk brooms. So she found me another whisk broom. And she knows me well. She knows all the things that I love. So she found me this vintage rooster, which I love. And this awesome vintage small bowl. This is the smallest of the bowls. And y'all know how hard they are to find, you all that are bowl collectors. So I was thrilled to death to get these. And she also bought me a, brought me a homemade little peach fried pie that uh, someone makes at her workplace. So I, it was a wonderful birthday gift. And I love everything. Then part of what my... Our friend Donna got me for my birthdays on this table, and part of it is back there on the couch, and I'll show you that in a minute. So one of the things that Donna, you've heard me speak of Donna many times, look at this precious cow, look at with the glasses on. Isn't that adorable? I think that is just the cutest thing with the glasses. That was one of the things Donna got me. And then this wonderful Johanna Parker teapot, and she did find this at a Ross, and I think that is adorable. I never was able to get that last year, so I was thrilled to get that. Then she got me this precious little ghost. I have a ghost like this, but it has a different face, and the handle's going in the opposite direction, so I was tickled to get that for my display. I think that is just adorable. Then John found some things. He loved this bowl. So you can tell it's got a bite out of it. And it says, stay for a bite. I think that's super cute. And then he found me this mug and bowl. And it is super nice and heavy. It's that uh, Eli and Annie handmade ceramics, microwave and dishwasher proof. And inside the top it says spooky. And then you can see this wonderful smiling pumpkin back there. That's another one of those pieces by that Shelley Kaminsky, a new designer with Transpack. And the little mug. These all came from Home Goods, the pieces that uh, John and I got. He got for me for my birthday. And this adorable little cat. Let me turn that over. 
Well, you can't see it. It's covered up. Let me see if I can pull that tag back. Nope, it's on our good. <laughs> so, so I'm not sure about that piece, who made that. But it was uh, $3.99. But it is super cute. So I love all these pieces. And then we'll go back here. Donna had all my gifts in this wonderful tote bag with the ghosts on it. It is so cute and such a nice tote bag. And then she got me this fall blessing sign. It looks like the back of the pickup truck. Adorable. And she knows how much I love bee things. So she got me the bee drying mat. And then she got me these Halloween towels. And then this beautiful card with such a wonderful message from her. She's a great friend. Then I wanted to show you this beautiful card that was from my sister, and she got me gift cards to Cracker Barrel. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. And then we found this bee at the local primitive shop. That's the shop where we've always went for my Halloween, I mean for my Halloween, for my birthday, for me to buy Halloween for my birthday, and she didn't have a handful of Halloween. She said that all the designer Halloween stuff was so expensive, and she didn't think it was worth it, so she didn't buy any this year. So that was a big disappointment. But I did find this wonderful metal bee, and I do love that. Then John also got me this set of mugs, and they're by that Shelly Comiskey. There's that same little pumpkin, the little skeleton, the kitty, and I'm presuming that's a ghost. It looks like his little top knot there. <laughs> Cute anyway you go. And let me see what these were. They're by Transpack, and they were $12.99. And I know you all have been seeing everybody talk about Marshall's pieces a lot of them are a couple dollars higher than at home goods and tj maxx so i just thought i would let you be aware of that if you didn't already know it then got these cute halloween plates and napkins and then last but not least i got some wonderful friend mail from my friend gloria crafting with gloria is her channel on youtube and she is just a super sweet person, and she's like me. She likes a lot of seasonal decor, and she is a fantastic shopper. And she's going to be, I think, posting some videos soon with her hauls. And when she does her tours, make sure you watch, because like I said, she's like me, and she loves to decorate. And just so sweet to send me these Johanna Parker placemats. She heard me say that I hadn't been able to find them, and I still had never seen them. So I was thrilled to get these. They are just beautiful. Just love them. Can't wait to use them. And then she got me this adorable little pumpkin with the spider on it. And look at his little shoes. Thank you so much, Gloria. I just appreciate it so much more than you'll ever know. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We have the absolute sweetest friends best family, and best subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all mean the world to me and John, and I just, you know, I don't know no other way to express it, but just to say thank you so much for everything. So this is my haul, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to come to you tomorrow with a yard sale haul, <laughs> since we haven't for uh a couple weeks. So enjoy your day. I hope you have a blessed, wonderful afternoon and evening, and I hope all your weekend goes good. And right here is my helper. He's been taking a nap. You can see I've got bags and a mess everywhere, but you can see I'm working on Halloween. I'm not going to show you much because I'm going to try to do tours in August this year on part of it that I get finished or early sept. I don't mean August, early September. <laughs> So, watch him. He's got to get up there and smell everything. Okay.
Okay, Lord, 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 watch him. Good thing cats are sure-footed, isn't it? Well, thank you again for everything. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you to all my friends and subscribers. Love all of you. Till the next time, have a wonderful day. Love and blessings from me and John and baby boy. Bye-bye.